Okay. You're almost there. Yeah, I'm almost there. Almost there. So not done yet. So on this one, on this one, I've got the difference under each of the the projects, and then the totals down below, and then I have like total monthly uh, of each of those for the chart on sheet two. Um. And then I thought this started, and I thought this started, but yeah, not not there, but almost. One thing I'll show you that I I was just trying to figure out these um these labels. I I like last night I did the uh, video, and it had upper as a selection, but when I when I do these. I've got label position, and it has center, inside in, inside base, outside yeah. in. Do you, did you run into that? There's no, I don't think there's really a good one. I right, just, okay, so you I had did. the same problem? Yeah, like where it looks weird, and there's like no good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah they I, all, I like cause he had, because I know when he did them, we had like above and below. But mine, I don't have an above and below option. I don't. I don't necessarily think it's or I don't know. The column one is different, and I think that doesn't doesn't have that option for it. Um, Maybe. Maybe. I'll show you what I did once. Okay, I'm gonna share what I did. Okay, let me. Okay. I, I realized that I did something wrong. I'm trying to try to fix it really fast. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Okay, I'll stop sharing mine. Okay. All right, so oh, I did. I this row is wrong. Oh, okay. okay. What I did, I think I was trying to like, yeah. Okay, I think I know what it did. Yeah. I want to see if our amount is the same. I could not. Hey, oh, yeah. that's so weird. Okay, let's we'll see this. Run for January. Can you make your screen a little bit bigger? Yeah. Okay, well, let's see. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Um, and then I'll just. Okay, that looks, that looks more like yours. Yeah, except I had a grand total difference, and you have a line all the way across. I bet that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. Where's that? Uh, for the so on the the very first chart or table, um, you have total difference, and it's between all of them. And on my mine, I have like the grand total. I, I think it's supposed to be a line all the way across instead of graph total. I think you're right. So I'll adjust that. Do you mean? Okay. No, that looks the same, right? Yeah, yeah, that looks that looks about right. Let me see. Yeah. The yeah. Ones, Those one, look right. Yeah, this is the grand total. The blue line's the grand total. And then the orange line is what was forecasted. Okay. Yeah. No, you did that right. Okay. So on this, these ones. Yeah. Was the same. I just did it individually. It was like. Oh. Individually. So. Um, what is that? Oh, brain farts. Um. Format is that what? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you just pick on one individually, and then you have to just change the label option. Yeah. Oh, alignment. Okay. Figure out. Was it label option? Was that it? That's what I've been using. So if you click on the graph on the far right, and then label options at the there. top, is that yeah. it? Yeah, so then I just did it individually, like whatever it was. Okay. It was, I just, 
I did what he said. I, I was like, there's, there's other ways I would have done this graph. But yeah. Yeah, I know. I thought it was interesting because I, I hadn't read that whole paragraph and I designed it different. And then I was like, oh, they told us how to do it. And I was like, oh, I kind of like mine better, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, like that assignment was like really cool. And it showed us how to do all these cool things. And then we did like a third of it in the, in the mini project. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, uh, whatever. Yep. Yep. It was, it was funny, but some of these are like, um, yeah, that's, that's it for this one. Okay. All right. Then, that's good. I'm sorry I, just, I haven't started on the, the next one. Oh, there you go. Um, it's really tricky, so I would try to at least look at it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty tricky. You end up using like, yeah, I'm only, yeah, I ended up using like the ifs that you, like from the get go, you use embedded if statements. Oh, really? First one. And so it's like, I've just got like two lines of formula for each thing. And then like, I just had to like break it down and then um, make sure like different portions were working and then I could figure out like what was working and what wasn't and change it. Um, Sounds awful. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then they've got one where it's another big formula and I'm still trying to figure it out. So, let's see. Uh, okay. Um, you, yeah, your, all your info looks good. It was just, you just need to do the pie and then yeah. Yep. I'm yeah. almost there. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So, do, yeah. do you want to plan on meeting up again? I'm sorry. Um, for the other one, I or or do, do you want to do that? Yeah, no problem. Um, what time? I could do like afternoon to early evening on Friday, or like early Saturday. Okay. Um. Or I can even, I can do other times. That's just what's best. Okay, probably. I'm thinking probably maybe Friday. So, um, so my dog is at um, she's at an overnight. Well, she's at a clinic for two nights, and I pick her up Friday afternoon probably. Um, do we want to play it by ear? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Are you sure? Okay, we'll plan on Friday afternoon or Saturday morning, and I'll let you know how. I think are. What's wrong with your dog? What happened? She, it, well, so she's been sick. Um, she started throwing up and stuff and um, not pooping good and not, she didn't want to eat and stuff. I took her in and they found a, a mass in her intestines and it looks like it's a tumor. So, so I took her to an oncologist today, a doggy oncologist. And they did um, a bunch of scans and stuff and figured out. Uh, so they're keeping her overnight tonight, and then they're going to do surgery first thing in the morning. But then they want to keep her another night. Okay. Um, yeah. Crazy. I'm sorry about that. Huh? I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Is that your dog? Is that a dog sleeping? Yeah, that's my fiance is playing with the dog. In the oh, okay. What kind of dog? Do you want to see him? Trigger, come here. Yeah. <laughs> we, he's still a pup. We got him three months ago. <laughs> oh. He's so cute. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's cute. Yeah. He's adorable. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, mine, She she's almost 10. And so she's getting up there a little bit. I'm not excited about that. But <laughs> no, no, I, uh, you know, I have pet insurance and I'm so glad I do because they're going to pay like uh, this, this um, bill is going to be about $4,200. And they're going to cover I pay a deductible and then they're gonna cover ninety percent. So how much is pet insurance? I pay like sixty a month. 
Yeah, yeah maybe look, think about it. Because the early, the younger the dog, the cheaper it is. But yeah, it's it's called True Canyon. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. It's really, well, I've never had to use it until now, but I'm really glad I have it now. Because sure. yeah, she, I mean, she had X-rays yesterday, ultrasound, and X-rays today. Um. I mean, tons of stuff. I mean, I'm probably going to end up spending about a thousand dollars, but it would have cost me closer to altogether closer to five. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll keep you. I'll keep you posted. Okay, sounds good.